So after suffering our first loss of this career mode, we are back with some league football playing against Sheffield United away from home. My name is the Gaming Blake. Welcome back to the Millwall Crew mode. This is the um, yesterday was the first day that I haven't uploaded since I started. Uh, first of all, I apologise. I completely intended to upload, but here's what happened. Yesterday I went out with my mates and we intended to do some IRL football. And we wanted to do a crossbar challenge and loads of different challenges to, for us to put up onto the channel. The problem was we had problems with the camera and it was raining and the footage didn't really save and it all got deleted and stuff. It was a lot of different problems. I apologize. So we are going to carry on though. I hope you guys don't mind that. But if we can still reach five likes on this video, that would be very much appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Because you guys have been giving the fantastic support. Be sure to comment as well. What, what you guys want to see on this channel. Be sure to get involved. Your interaction means a lot to me. So right now we stand in 4th place with 8 points out of a possible... Or a... Oh god. I've embarrassed myself here. Hang on. Or 3, 6, 9, 12. 8 points out of 12, which isn't too bad. Really embarrassed myself. Then I've made the changes to the squad. And this is what we have. I was going to start... Steve Morrison however international duty has struck and he's been called up to the Welsh team and so is Shane Ferguson unfortunately who's been called up to the Northern Ireland team I'm happy for them but at the same time that's going to be a serious problem because they are vital players nonetheless here is the lineup I'm going with Jordan Archer starts in goal after climbing to 64 rated Brendan Galloway is going to get the start at left back with Riefel Shammer and Byron Webster who is starting over Mark Beavers today in the centre back position with Cameron Ed Carlos Edwards. I keep calling him Cameron Edwards, Edwards. Uh, right back. Or your demon starts at right mid with Shane with Sean Williams and Ben Thompson in the centre of the park. I clearly am not going to be able to talk today. Ed Upson starts at left mid with Naki Wells and Lee Gregory up front. This should be a win. We don't have that much depth on the bench right now, but we need to hope and pray that we can get a result today. We're playing against Sheffield United, as I say, which is never an easy game. They are seventh, I just see there at the corner of the table. So without further ado, enough of me talking, let's jump into the game. <coughs> the draws in their last two games, it's slightly unsatisfactory. Yeah. I think oh, they do need really nice play. Oh my god, and they scored their first shot of the game. Billy Sharp, who I actually really admire, fantastic player. Uh, scored for Sheffield United, really, really disappointed with that. Look really at the nice football, though. I was very quiet out. trying to defend that and concentrate, and they've scored early on, and that is not what we needed for the start of this episode. We're already on a goal drought, and Billy Sharp is clearly not with four goals already this season. We are not off to a good start here. Billy Sharp. Hammond. Sharp. Oh, no. They're on the attack again. For defending and it's 2-0 they've scored again unbelievable Billy Sharp has scored again straight away from kickoff pretty much they've kicked off oh we've kicked off and they've scored again within minutes and this is a terrible start man we started off so promisingly with that early chance from Lee Gregory and now of course we've suffered the second goal from some it's terrible defending look at was. this it's a bad interception there. They've all lunged the forward trying to make a tackle. They've run past him and Billy Sharp once again not missing that. And it's a clean finish. Nothing Jordan Arch is doing about that. Nice and clean into the bottom corner. And this is not looking good for a Millwall. We are 2 0 down inside the first 20 minutes. Galloway. Right, attack here now for Millwall. Thompson. Come on, Ben Thompson. Cuts inside. Very nice. Naki Wells first time and finishes it. We are a goal back in. Get the ball, man. Don't celebrate. Naki Wells getting another goal, which I'm sure he's happy about. But we are a goal down still. We need to get this back. Look at this. Lovely passing from Ben Thompson. And the finish was even nicer from Naki Wells, the current top scorer for the club. It's a nice finish. Nice little finesse into the bottom corner. Similar to Billy Sharps on the other end. Both of Billy Sharps, to be fair. It's another goal for Naki Wells. I'm not sure how many he's on now. I think that's three, maybe. But anyway, that pulls one back for this game. And already, in half an hour, it's 2-1. <clears throat> oh, this is really Here's poor defending. This has well, been the, the problem so far. Rico Shammer with the header away. Williams middle, battling with it and he's lost first, the ball. And this is not good. They can get another chance at That's goal here. Jordan pass. Archer has rushed off his line. Oh, my Jordan God. Martin I didn't even score. tell him to do that. Oh, no. We are 3-1 down. 
and it's just not looking good. Why did Archer just run? What the fuck the is this for defending? Williams no loses the ball defender, here. No, no one makes a tackle. Archer's already run out. He's passed it in. And no one, no one's clearing that I off the line. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the throat's really sore. I apologise. But that's ridiculous. And we are 3 1 down now to Sheffield United. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is not only going to be the worst loss, but our first loss as well. Naki Wells, can we pull one back straight away, please? Someone help him. Ed Upson gets inside. Ah! Right, we've got a throw here, and Brendan Galloway's taking. Ed Upson. Terrible pass, but he finds Sean Williams somehow. Oh! Wait, could be an open in here. It's a little scrappy. Oh, good save. Rebound. And it's 3-2. Lee Gregory getting the goal. And we are back in it again. It's really sloppy play there. I don't even know who gets the assist there. It's a nice strike initially. And it's rebounded off the keeper. I think that will go down without an assist. But it's 3-2. Five goals in one half. This is incredible stuff. It's intense. It's not looking good for us. Because we are still a goal down. But bloody hell. This is going to be a tight game as we well, come to half time, time. a goal and from Gregory and from Wells got scoring our two goals but they were both comeback goals as we went 3-1 down in a matter of minutes in a matter of 20 minutes or about 30 minutes when the third goal went in Billy Sharp scoring two in the first 20 and then obviously later into the half Hammond got a third Naki Wells answering back after the two goals from Billy Sharp, but Lee Gregory getting one just at the end there to give Mills some hope in this game. It's going to be a really intense first half. Set second half. I cannot speak today. Made sure they got their oh no, that's good play. Oh well done. Carlos Edwards picks it back up. Wasteful no, pass. Galloway, what have you done? Really. Galloway! Oh my He's made a bit of a mess of God. That. A mess and a miss. Come on! The defence is playing atrociously. I'm at this point, I'm ready to drop you all. Do you know what? In fact, Brendan Galloway gets the fuck off the pitch. Joel, Joel Martin's coming on. I'm sorry, but Brendan Galloway really annoys me when he does that. Because that's not even the first time he's done that in the game. That really, really pisses me off. Basham. Oh, let's get tackled in. No, this could be four. It is four, and it's a sharp Patrick as well. We are 4-2 down to Sheffield United, and with 80 minutes left, that is... Uh, we're in the 80th minute, I'm sorry. I really cannot talk today. But we are down 4-2, and that what really annoys me. Another terrible piece of defending. He's been and this, I know it's our first loss, but it'll probably be our worst He's loss. I can't imagine us losing worse than this. This is atrocious. Billy Sharp, fantastic hat-trick. Got to give it to him. Three clean finishes. We might as well go all that attack now, but I think it's safe to say we've lost this one. Wells is here. Who else is here? Someone needs to come help him. Oh, it's nice play. Just finds his way to Sean Williams. It's 4 3. We've got another goal. We have pulled one back, but it's way too late. We might be able to squeeze another one in if we can win the ball straight away. It's a nice finish from Williams. A bit of a soft pass from Gregory. But it did find its way through. Sean Williams gets this his first goal for us. To That's got to be game over for Fantastic Millwall, to be spectacle. fair. It's 4-3. So if they hadn't have scored, we could have pulled it back. Oh, I'm gutted with that game. Well, you as a, and what so far has been time, the most dramatic game of the season, well we have yeah, lost 4-3 to Sheffield United. To credit them, I played fantastically. Billy Sharp with a hat-trick and Dean Hammond getting one as well. I'm gutted because well, we could have easily walked away with a win in that game. Today. Billy Sharp's going to walk away with three points and a match ball for his hat trick. Yeah, I'm absolutely gutted with that game. Player. That's the, been the most dramatic game of the season so far. And I'm absolutely gutted we've walked out on the losing end of that one. Final score, Sheffield United 4, Millwall 3. Who was the man of the match? So no one on our team. That I can guarantee you because our team played atrociously. They've given it to Lee Gregory, which I think I guess is fair. A goal and two assists. He played okay, but I feel like man of the match for me had to be Billy Sharp. Scoring, I'm pretty sure, every shot he took. Yeah, three and three. That You couldn't get more clinical than that. Okay, game two is now ready to play. And this is the lineup we're going with. Jordan Archer is starting in goal, despite conceding four goals in the last game. Rupal Shammer starts with Mark Beavers, which proves to be the best combination of the centre-backs we can find. Carlos Edwards at right back, and Joel Martin has taken the place of Brendan Galloway at left back, deservedly so as well, I feel. Shane Ferguson has come back from international, 
and he starts at left midfield. Oyedema, who's gone up to 64 rated, now starts at right mid. And Williams and Thompson start in the centre of the park with Naki Wells and Lee Gregory starting at the top. Morrison will probably jump in at some point. Uh, might be looking to get Jack Powell in, maybe Chris Taylor. But as it stands, I'm happy with that squad. And we are ready for game number two. So let's jump straight into it. Right, we put pressure on them early on. They're not handling us attacking-wise. We're putting that pressure on. Lee Gregory, Joel Martin, find Ferguson. He has found Ferguson. We can cut inside here. Low and hard cross, and it is 1-0 to Mule Naki Wells with another goal for the club. Shane Ferguson, you can tell when he's not there. You really can. You saw it in the last game, how difficult it was without him. And he comes on, and he gets himself an assist. Shane Ferguson with the assist, and Naki Wells with another fantastic goal. We are 1-0 up. We've taken the lead. Uh... I don't know what to say really other than that. We've played really well so far. Look at beautiful passing. Shane Ferguson, low and hard ball across the face of goalkeeper. Probably should have done better with that. And it's a nice, calm, goal, cool, collective finish from it Naki Wells, of course, well who is on goal scoring form right as of late. And look at that, celebrating with the bench. He really is settling in well here at Millwall. Him and Morrison and Gregory have all linked up very nicely. Four goals in League One already. And within 15 so minutes, goal, we have taken the lead. Jacob Mellis. Right, they're on the attack here. Pope is leading the charge. Chris Eagles has a great pass inside. That's dangerous. Oh, oh my cross. God, what Back the fuck the was that, Archer? Archer just punched it onto the bar himself. What the fuck is that? The danger's gone, kind of, but, like, really? Is that how you're going to do things? Bloody hell. Ferguson does well. Joel Martin, 1-2 with Ferguson. Ferguson looking for another 1-2, this time with Ben Thompson. Runs down the line. Does well. Great cross in. And that's got to be a goal. And Williams has absolutely fluffed the header. Unbelievably bad effort there. And what a header. And it's just not gone in. Shane Ferguson has been controlling the park so far. Oh, and Joel Martin's won the ball here. I don't know why he's up here, but he's won the ball. Naki Wells lays it off. Lee Gregory's got to finish that. No! One pass too many. That was too nice. Joel Martin had the initiative to go and get the ball. And that has been the story of the first half, to be fair, for Millwall. So half right. All right, so that's half time. We are one new up, and we've played fantastically. We've been putting pressure on them. We've created some chances, and Naki Wells has converted. Lee Gregory I'm a bit disappointed with because he's had a good chance or two and hasn't converted. So we're going to bring on Morrison see what he can do. But I'm happy with Naki Wells. Shane Ferguson has been marshalling the team. He's been playing fantastically so well. I'm still a little shaky on the defence. I feel like oh, I never put Marlon Romeo on the bench. I probably should have had him on the bench at some point. But as it stands, we are 1-0 up. So let's get into the second half and try and secure these three points. Ah, oh, well played between Popes and, Popes and Eagles there. And no, oh, it's a good ball in and it's an equalising goal. And it's Kelvin Atuhu with a fantastic finish there for Berry. What a goal, and that's nice play between Eagles and uh, the other guy who I can't remember the name of. Great ball inside, very similar to our goal, just a bit further out. A nice finish from Kelvin Atuhu, first goal this evening for him. And they've managed to pull it back, which I feel isn't really a justification of how this game has gone so far. However, we can get this back straight away. Oh, bloody hell, that's a card. That was filthy, and that might have hurt Morrison. He's holding his knee. Is that a card? It is a card. It's yellow. Clearly now we've got a free kick in a good position. I haven't tried a free kick with anyone yet. Let's try it with Morrison. We know he's got a power foot. He curls it round. Oh! And that's a fantastic free kick from Steve Morrison. And it's nearly going into the bottom corner. Keeper's pushed it away well. And that's a promising restart, but we need to get that goal back ahead. Come on, Morrison. Close him down. Naki Wells closing down. Right, we're going to go attacking because I feel like we can win this. Riley. Shane Ferguson's done Great really well to win tackle. that there. Morrison. Come on, finish this one, Morrison. Oh, no. Well Keeper's denied Morrison. I don't know why I kept saying That's Morrison's name there. But that should have been the leading goal there. It really should have been. It's a good ball in. Oyedema. Oh, no, it's come off the head of Riefel Shammer. We've beaten Oyedema to the ball. And he probably shouldn't have done as well. Gets in the way of... Yeah, look. Oyedema was clearly going to have that header. And Riefel Shammer's knocked it over the bar a nice little spell of attacking play there look at that seven seven shots and one goal 
to O'Sullivan. We'll tackle Tremendous Joel Martin. Let's go. Players. Oh, no. Good no, that's it. dangerous. Well headed away, Carlos Edwards. Let's go. Counter attack. attack. Maybe cross. not. Right okay, danger still there. Carlos Edwards, can we get a tackle in again? No, that's good. Oh, and they've scored the second well, shot. And that's going to be the losing goal, I feel. I really think that's going to be the losing goal. We are 2-1 down. Who scored that in the end? Leon Clark with his second goal of the season. We might as well go all out attack now because we're somehow losing this game. It's been poor attacking-wise. We really should have put away our chances. And it's just ridiculous how we're going to walk away with a loss. We've lost. I cannot believe we've actually lost. We are on a three-game losing streak now. And it's ridiculous. We really should win this game. these kind of games. We were all over them. They had two shots on goal. Who got man of the match? I think Shane Ferguson, yeah, deservedly so. Shane Ferguson played fantastically that game. If anything, it, I would have given it to Carlos Edwards. But I feel Shane Ferguson deserves it, I guess. I'm absolutely gutted. And do you know what? I'm actually going to end it there. Because I don't want to damage the... Uh, I don't want to damage it further, to be honest. I, I really don't want to damage our record further. English We've fallen into 11th place when we started City the episode two, in 4th. I, I just don't want to damage it any further. Next one, game we'll play three episodes, of United, uh, three games. One, I promise you we'll end two, on training. Middle, and that's going to be it for me one. today. Again, sorry for Manchester missing yesterday's United, upload. One, but I do intend to stick with one, the daily upload schedule. City, but like one, I say, yesterday, Blackpool, trying to do one, some IRL football, Blue trying Alexandra, to do something different. And Nil, it just clearly wasn't going to work out at that point. So I guess that's it for me today. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to hit five likes if we can. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment to let me know what you're liking or what you're not liking about the series.